Hi everyone and welcome to Tuesday's Tips with Kimber Bell at 2. My name is Laurie and today we are talking about embellishments again. This whole month we've been talking about embellishments and tips on embellishing. There's a lot of times where you make your quilt and then you get to the embellishments and you're like, oh, I don't know, it's going to take too long to finish things up. Well, these tips and tricks are here to help you get this done quickly and efficiently. So today we're going to talk about top stitching buttons. So on our quilt today, and I love this, we've got our vintage boardwalk quilt. Um, there's lots of places where we have got buttons, and there's some right here. We've got a few, oh, one right down here. Love that. Isn't that a cute one, the watermelon? We're going to move across over here, and there's buttons on top of these cute little pull flowers. And if you watch one of our earlier videos, shows you how to use the pull flower, the one yard pull flower, and cut it in half. And you can attach that as well. And it just, there's a lot of buttons involved. And I wanted to show you today how you can top stitch those buttons without having to try to reach and hug your whole quilt and try to sew, you know, all the way through and then hide your thread. This is a much easier way. I call it top stitching a button. I don't know if that's an official term, but that's what I like to call it. So the first thing I like to do is, I'm going to move this forward a little bit so we can get a good view. The first thing I like to do is place my buttons, and a couple of those slid off because I'm placing them. But what I do is I place my buttons and then I mark where my buttons are going to be. And you can use anything you want really because your button is going to be over the top of it, but I like something, just in case I change my mind, um, where I can mark it. So I had my sunglasses right here, so I'm going to mark there. And then you can see where my watermelon is, and I love that it's tucked inside that truck. So I'm going to put a hole right there, or a little mark. And I'm going to actually mark the direction of my watermelon so that I can keep track of how I'm putting that in. Same goes for my soda pop bottle right there. So I'm going to pull that out. I'm going to put my mark, my holes where the soda pop is. So that way I can visualize and see where my soda pop button is going where my watermelon button is going and where my sunglasses. Now the way I would top stitch this is, is this. And what I might have, I might have Maddie come join me and I just need her hands for a minute so that we can keep this at a, a good angle for you guys to see. So when I top stitch, and here comes Maddie. <laughs> You want me to just hold it up? Um, yes, to to yes, if you will hold this up. So what I want to show them, I'm going to do the watermelon first, and the watermelon's placed right here. Okay, so what I like to do is I take my needle and make sure it's a good needle like we've talked about before, earlier on the other episodes. Um, again, this is where I keep my needles attached. It's just a magnetic thing, so it's easy to keep my needles there. But I like the ones with the gold tips, good solid needle. This isn't like a straw needle that you would use when you're binding. That's a different needle. So this is an important to have the correct needle. Now the reason I like this needle is because um, it will go through um, some of the stiffer layers or vinyl, if you will. But make sure that your needle pulls through the back side of the or the hole on your buttons, okay? Don't get such a big needle like a darning needle that you can't pull your thread through, okay? That's the first thing. Next thing is make a good size knot right here, okay? So now the first thing I do is all I do is I go through the top part of my, and if this is a big quilt, it's a little bit easier to do. I just go through the top part and I just grab the top part right there, do you see that, of the fabric. And this is to avoid having to go all the way through the back because that's the whole problem of a great big quilt, right? Is going all the way through the back. So I go through this top fabric only. Then I go through my button. Um, and I'm going to go through the top hole in my button first. And then I'm going to come back down while I have the button in my hand, okay? So now I've got both of those right there. Now, depending on where I go through again, is where I'm going to place the button. So I'm going to go back down through the same thing with the button pulled away to start with until I get a good secure, and I've just basically made a full loop, right? 
with my thread. And I'm going to, thank you Maddie for holding yeah. that. So as you can see, I've got a full loop and as I pull this, now pretty soon my button is going to attach and I'm going to tuck it into my car where I want it. Now this is where you can make, you can play with uh, how and where you want this button to be. Okay, so there's my button attached. Now as you can see, let me show you something. When I pull this tight, it's more sideways because I went down and up sideways. So make sure, for example, when I'm doing my Coke bottle, I'm going to want to angle my needle. I'm going to show you better with my hands and not in the way. I'm going to angle my needle so I go down and up at the angle of the holes, if that makes sense. That way it stays in that direction. Does that make sense? So my watermelon is actually sitting in my truck and I like that actually better than I think the way I had it before. So I'm going to go ahead and leave that. Now, because I've used two strands of this, um, you really don't have to go through many more times. You only have to go through a couple times and your button is going to be secure. And so I'm going to do it one more time. So I pull back a little bit. I'm going to go through, since I've already gone through my fabric, now it's going through the buttonhole again. Okay, and back down through the buttonhole. And I'm just going to hold the back just for like to hold this still, right? Because that's hard to show you while it's wiggling. So I've gone up and down through my button again, okay? And because it's all on the top, I can snug this up, okay? So I'm just gonna snug this up, and as you can see, my button's right there, and then I'm just gonna tuck it inside my truck. It looks great. So now I'm gonna tie it off. Now to tie it off, I simply take my quilt, and I just bend it, so that I can see the top, and I simply do a whip stitch knot. Um, sorry, yeah, I just do a whip stitch knot right from the top, okay? So I'm gonna make the hole, I'm gonna grab my thread, I'm gonna do it one more time. I'm just really tying a knot around my thread on the back side of that, and now I'm done. And now your button I'm going to tuck it back in that cute little truck. Now my button is attached. So it's cute. on. And I didn't have to go through the back at all. So when you have a back to a quilt and it's a large quilt or a large item, you don't have to try to gather everything and put your needle all the way through the quilt and back. That's really difficult. So this way it makes it a lot simpler. And all you have to do is... Um, top stitch your button. So that's how I top stitch buttons. And then you just simply clip my thread right here and you clip, you can clip the knot that was already on the other, the string I guess. And there we go. And your button is on. And I, I love this. This is a great method of, of putting your buttons on without having to go all the way through. That is so cute. Could you do that with like any of the buttons? Like we have like vintage boardwalk. Could you do that with any of those? Absolutely, absolutely, yes. So um, for example, the button that's right over on this mm -hmm. side, that's how we did those. Cute. Because it's so much easier to um, go ahead and just top stitch them. Yeah. So simply, you're, you're just bending the fabric from the top and that's much easier to do than trying to go all the way through and yeah. then lift the quilt over and find your back and then go back through again. So. Yeah. Top stitching your button. Hopefully that's a helpful tip to you. Um, if there's any other questions, make sure, I've already got Maddie up here, so you have to type those questions <laughs> in. Know. She's not reading them. <laughs> <laughs> so we appreciate your uh, viewing us today, and I appreciate Maddie <laughs> coming up on the spot. She is a gem. Thank you so much for joining us today. Bye-bye.